Netflix is canceling all the Army of the Dead plans. Now, why is this a big deal? Well, one, it's Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder isn't everybody's favorite guy in Hollywood right now. He, he's not. I, I don't care how many dollars he's made people. I really don't care. What this is all about is that it's mostly his way of doing movies. This way is awful. Because what him and Netflix did with Rebel Moon is they decided to make a director's cut and they decided to make a Netflix cut. They saw what HBO Max did. However, here's what HBO Max did not do. Max, Max did not tell people, hey, do you want the Snyder Cut? We'll give you the Snyder Cut. We had to beg and complain and moan that we wanted a Snyder Cut. I was not a Snyder Cut fan. I enjoyed the 2017 version of Justice League. I did. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I did. What, what do you want me to say? I really did enjoy it. My issue with it is this. When fans complain, fans sometimes get what they want, but not like this. Warner Brothers didn't have to put 75 to $100 million into this movie to get it finished. They didn't need to do that. And now they're asking for this cut and this cut and this cut and this cut. They were asking for cuts. They got it. Snyder thought that they wanted this version. Netflix knew that if they did this, they might get some viewers. Sorry to break it to you, pal. Your viewer numbers did not really do much for you because they it's it's not in the Netflix top 10. It was not in the Netflix top 10 the day it came out. It was SpongeBob. SpongeBob was number one. But this comes to us from comicbook.com saying Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead universe reportedly scrapped by Netflix. They're saying this. Army of the Dead fans just got some bad news. I am one of them. Zack Snyder's horror action series won't be getting that animated series that was previously hinted at. Netflix isn't breaking ties with the fan favorite director just yet. He and Deborah Snyder still have Twilight of the Gods hitting this year. The Wrap first reported the news of the Army of the Dead. The, the Army of the Dead Hitting a snag, though. We are very ambitious with everything, Deborah said before pointing out Army of the Dead isn't completely six feet under. She pointed out there has been plans for a Halloween-themed experience at Six Flag Parks. Oh boy, isn't that exciting. So, hope springs again. It wasn't long ago that Zack Snyder was talking to Game to Games Radar about his idea for an Army of the Dead follow-up. I'm a huge fan of the Army universe, began Snyder. We were working on and are trying to get back up our Army animated series, which was really cool. We recorded the whole thing. We recorded all the voices, Christian Slater, all these cool people. Super fun. He added in. In that, we really did this same thing of developing this big world-building concept as Rebel Moon. My idea for Army 2 is Planet of the Dead, which is much more, which is a much more scales in a crazy way. So super excited about it. Right now, obviously, I'm trying to run parallel courses with these two monsters, but I'm really excited that people are excited to see more of the army universe because I love it. So before we go on to this, let's talk about it for a minute. This is something that is infuriating because nobody wants more of the army of the dead i haven't heard one person say they want more of the army of the dead universe i think it's too late i really think it's too late once that movie came out sure it went into a limited theatrical run army of the dead went into a limited theatrical run and it made very little money very little money because you didn't put it in a wide release make that a wide release movie you make money on the movie instead you just throw it out there, and it's just, haha. here you go, it's on Netflix within two weeks. That's not how you market a movie. That is not how you market a movie. This movie needs, well, needed a lot more press. And it did not get that press. What it did get is a nice little two-week spot on Netflix where people were watching it. Besides that, everybody's forgot about it by now. 
Rebel Moon came out. Rebel Moon Part 1 and Part 2, I heard they were awful. I didn't watch them. I heard the director's cut Part 1 was nice, but, you know, I really don't think it's that big a deal. Because they're not number one or number two. No one cares about Snyder right now. You Snyder fans, yes, you are going to watch everything he puts out. I will watch Twilight of the Gods. If it's not three and a half freaking hours, which we, we will look at that in just a minute. But I think it's interesting that they thought they were getting a sequel when we have heard nothing about movement on it since that little taste. We didn't even know we were going to get a second Army of the Dead movie called Planet of the Dead. But what I think really is interesting is that he thinks we're getting, he's getting sequels for Rebel Moon. You think you're getting sequels for Rebel Moon? Sure. Sure. Not with Netflix. Uh, but let's take a look at this. <clears throat> Twilight of the Gods is still coming. Snyder fans need no worry. Netflix has an anime, eh, has his animated series still on the docket. Zack Snyder presents Twilight of the Gods, an all-new, daring, and spectacular anime version of Norse mythology. In a mythical world of great battles, great deeds, and great despair, Leif, a mortal king, is saved on the battlefield of Sigrid, of, of Sigrid an iron-willed warrior with whom he falls in love. On their wedding night, Sigrid and Leif survive a wrath of terror from Thor, which sets them on a, and, and a crew of, uh, and a crew of crusaders on a against all odds and merciless mission for vengeance. This historic story of love, loss, and revenge is journey to hell and beyond across fantastical lands, battlefields, fierce and bloody and wars waged against gods and demons. So I really don't think that this is anything. I really don't think that this is anything to be up in arms about. I really think that this is something that you could. I really think this is something that you could end up really, really wanting. Really wanting to see. If it's good. I enjoyed Army of the Dead. It didn't get a lot of fanfare. I've enjoyed Man of Steel. I liked Justice League. I have not watched the Snyder Cut because it's four hours long. I did enjoy a couple of his other stuff. But here's the thing. You need to make good projects. And if you leave off on a bad note, you're not going to have people excited for your next movie. Unless you're somebody like a Martin Scorsese or a Steven Spielberg or a Quentin Tarantino or a Jordan Peele. Where maybe your, your last film was not the greatest thing in the world but you're a legendary director or you have a name. Zack Snyder, he has his fans and he has his legit haters. Scorsese, Tarantino, Peel, uh, and Spielberg are some of the greatest doing right now. Denis Villeneuve, give him this. You could have gave him this, he would have killed it. He would have killed it. Instead, now we get this. But there's that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you upset about Army of the Dead being canceled? Or did you not know there were any plans for it? Because I kind of forgot that there were plans for it anyways. I'm not going to lie. I like the first movie. But it's not all that great. It, it's fun. It's two and a half hours of fun. That's it. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And let me know your thoughts.